All right, next we want to talk about how you can use this to compare what you see in the sky with what's here on the star and planet locator and how you can use this to identify constellations. So let's set it to a different date. Let's say October the 30th at 10 o'clock at night. So here's 10 p.m. and I want to turn the, the dark blue wheel until October 30th is lined up with the 10 p.m. mark. So I'll turn that there's December, November, back to October and there is October 30th. Okay. November, October 30th at 10 p.m. and then what's in the opening here shows the sky at that time of night 10 p.m. on October the 30th. Okay. Now, if you look on the on the frame, the light blue frame down at the bottom as I'm holding it, there's the word south, and then up at the top, there's the word north, right? <clears throat> down here where it says south, the opening of the frame there corresponds to your horizon if you were facing due south. So if you're outside, at 10 o'clock at night on October the 30th and you were facing due south then this point right here would be directly in front of you on the horizon and as you looked at, looked up in the southern sky then this is the part of the sky that would be visible to you. You would see the constellation Sculptor and Cetus, Cetus in front of you and as you looked a little further up in the sky you could see the constellation Pisces and then almost straight overhead, remember straight overhead is in the middle of the, uh, of the opening almost straight overhead would be the great square of Pegas, Pegasus and then the constellation Andromeda almost exactly overhead. Okay. That's if you were facing south. Now if you were facing north what you would want to do is you would want to take the north side of the star and planet locator and turn that so it was at the bottom. Hold that north side in your hand and then the edge of the opening here corresponds to the northern horizon right in front of you. So if you were turned to face the northern, uh, turned to face due north, then this would be the horizon right in front of you and just over the horizon you would see the Big Dipper or the constellation Ursa Major. A little bit above that would be the North Celestial Pole and almost straight overhead, most of the way up, would be the M or W shaped constellation Cassiopeia. So straight on the northern horizon the Big Dipper, then up to Polaris and the, the Little Dipper, and then Cassiopeia. If you were to look east or west, it's a slightly different. If you look, there's two small letters over to the side. Right here is a small W, and over on the right side as we're looking at it, there's a small E. Right at those letters corresponds to due east and due west on the horizon. So if I turn to face due west, then I would want that W at the bottom, like that. And then right there would be due west on my horizon. And I would see the stars of the constellation Aquila as it would be setting in the west. And then a little bit above that, Cygnus and Delphinus. Likewise, if I wanted to face east and see what was in the eastern sky, I would take the, the little E, put it right there, on the bottom and there's my eastern horizon with the stars of Orion coming up. And you could do in between directions like if you wanted to face northeast then here's due east, here's due north, so right around there is the northeastern part of the sky. Right there I'd see the stars of Gemini in the northeast with the Riga above that. If I wanted to look straight overhead again that would be the, the center of the opening would be the part of the sky straight overhead. <clears throat>